There! There it is. Okay, I see it now. That'd be awesome if you could fly at night, man. I don't understand why they don't let you do it. Oh, jeez. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Skydive! What the hell are you guys? Oh my god! What were those things? to get to this place at night? I don't think there is. Anyway, where's the old man? You! I need to talk to you! Ooh. You have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in Skyloft Monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster! It's a demon, I tell ya! But no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Well, huh? You wanna know how good? Wait, you wanna know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody's seen it alive? Is that? Well, kinda, yeah. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes. I tell ya, aren't you like 75? Any regular person would have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone, and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. The monster then went into the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Okay. I'm doing it. Sorry. Thanks, though. I'm glad I didn't have to run into that old bastard that's like, Ooh, you're gonna, you're gonna deliver this pumpkin soup. Nah, bruh. <laughs> Sorry. Not happening. I ain't your delivery boy. Alright, Rupert, to me! Alright, so there's Skyloft. Alright, I'm gonna try for a third time to land on top of that island. Not quite sure if I'll make it, but hey, a guy has to try, doesn't he? I wish I could, like, do, uh, a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll! Alright, you ready for this? Here we go, Rupert. Three, two, one! Launch! I'm gonna land right into that pool of water. Come on. Right in the middle of that. Come on! There's no way I missed it that time. Okay, apparently... The game thinks I missed it that time. Whatever. It keeps landing me right in the same spot of flowers. No! Oh, I ran out of stamina. Damn it. Damn it to hell. Alright, ah, right here. What is this? Whose house is this anyway? I don't care. Sleep right here. <laughs> it's like someone comes in, Link. Why are you sleeping in my bed? Uh, you know, I, I just had to sleep. But this isn't your house. But I had to sleep. Nintendo apparently thinks it's okay for me to sleep. Just out of curiosity, isn't this the chick that does the item stuff? No matter how much you may miss me, I don't make it a habit of having my customers come around my house when I'm off the clock, you know? Or am I being too self-conscious? You're weird. 
Who are you? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by! Welcome to the home of Scarlet's most popular father and daughter dream team! Well, aren't you a winner? What? You're telling me you don't know who I am? Believe it or not, I used to be the most popular guy in the sky! Mr. Skyloft! That was me. But you might relate better if I told you I was the proud father of Skyloft, Skyloft's most popular girl, Patrice, Princess of the Item Check. Okay, well, I'm dating Zelda, Princess of the Sky, so... Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Does that clear anything up for you, young feller? <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here before I might get eaten alive or raped or worse. What could be worse than being raped? I actually can't think of anything that would be worse. I mean, murdered? Maybe? I mean, I think it's far worse for a chick than it is a guy. I mean, you know, if it's a guy being raped by a... If it's a guy being raped by a chick. So, all I gotta do is hit this? Ooh. Do I move this now? Oh. Damn! Secret passage? It's weird that no one knows about this. Ah! That was a lot further drop than I thought it was gonna be. Uh oh. Don't, don't fall off here. That's creepy. Yup, I'm going in armed. Oh god! Someone's in trouble! Oh shit, there is a monster! Bring it, big boy! Let's do this! Coming at you, bitch! What? Stop, please! I beg of you, don't hurt me! <laughs> what? Oh, wait. Oh, goodness. I don't know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. We were just playing the scream as loud as you can game. What? Uh. Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear, perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is... Uh... Crobat. And I'm a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. Why, why are you even here? How did you get here? You see, this adorable... I'm gonna make you Kermit the Frog. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't lose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I feel positively jubilant. You see, my heart only... My heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it's been proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. This is actually a very hard voice to keep going. <coughs> ah, it hurts the back of my neck. Alright, silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale amongst my monstrous kin that goes as follows. Uh. Alright, uh, that hurts, hold on. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as gratitude crystal. What? <laughs> gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just look at them and knowing they're was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh, wow, really? Oh, goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. 
from the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you. I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Then why did you, like, threaten me by roaring? Would you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Uh, sure, why the hell not? <laughs> Truly? You'll help me? Uh, yeah, I just said I would. I've heard you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. <laughs> they could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft. Ah, uh, yep, see, my voice is starting to fade. Or elsewhere among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure as genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly would be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. Ah, uh, uh, so wait a minute. Who was screaming? Our dear girl should go back home safe and sound by tomorrow morning. Give her parents the warmest regards when you see them. Oh, good luck, Catherine. <sighs> to start, bring me five if you can. That would be splendid. If you do a great kindness for someone, you may even find several at once. Okay. So, little girl, what do you got to say about this? He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge, and he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. <sighs> How am I going to explain this? Oh yeah, your daughter's hanging out with a demon at the bottom of the skyloft that hangs out in his hobo shed. Yeah, I can just imagine with what... <laughs> I can't even imagine what would happen. Um, why is my ear itch so much? I mean, look at this place. It's a hobo den. How do you even get here? You know what? Not gonna question it anymore. Because why? It's Nintendo logic. Nintendo logic is a very... Awkward kind of logic that you just don't question. It's like the most, it's the weirdest logic of any video game logic, and if you question it, you'll just end up getting more confused. Get away from me, Choo Choo. I don't even know where this girl's parents are. Whose house is this again? Pippet's house? Oh, yeah, this is the dirty ass house. Why is Pippet's house so damn dirty? Isn't he the other night guy that helped me out? I think he is, yeah, so why would he be in this dirty-ass house? Seems like a great guy. Wait, what happens if I sit down here? Absolutely nothing! Ugh. I feel like I'll get a disease just from walking in here. Ouch! Sorry, I was like moving my legs. And I just so happened to move my right leg a little bit more than, like to the left than it should have. And it kind of collided with my other, or like my right nut collided with my left nut. And it hurt. Hmm! The girl who went missing has been found safe? I see. So she wasn't abducted after all. That's a relief to hear. Well, anyway, I guess that case is closed. Great work, Valiant Knight! No problem. Seriously, Zelda and I aren't together as of right now. So, you know. <laughs> Get Zelda's face out of there. There we go. Whatever. See you! I guess I should go tell that girl's parents. Uh-oh. I wonder if I can store money. Or like a potion or something. Oops. I want to store a fairy. You know, for just in case. Like, whenever I need one, I'll have one. Because honestly, I don't think I'll need it. But it would be nice to have it. 
Okay, well the mom's not here anymore, and I need that. Oh man, I'm, I am like a Zelda roller all the way. Like, you know how you would run around as a Link and you would just con continuously roll to go faster. I am that kind of player, but they have made it difficult to do that in this game. What's up? Who are you? I still haven't seen any sign of Cool Kill Link. Are you really looking for her? Yeah, dude, I found her last night. What? She's safe? That's a huge relief! I'm so glad you tracked her down, Link. I knew you'd do it. Yeah, I think... Thanks? I think? Anyway, so that was just a small little side quest I wanted to have completed. I think if I find that little girl and her parents, that um, I can get a gratitude crystal from them, although I don't know where they are. But before I do that, I would like to store a fairy. Because I, you know, I like to be prepared. Oh, hey, this is item check. I bet you're here just to check me out, right? Well, don't make a habit of it, okay? Anyway, you need to grab something or drop something off? Actually, yeah, I do. Alright, let's see it. Alright, here, um, I wanna drop off this fairy. Now you might be saying, Super Gen, that's a stupid idea! No, it's actually a brilliant idea. I really only need one fairy. This game is not that hard. Oh, hold on. Q, ten minutes later, I'm getting my ass completely kicked. Do you have a bottle I can buy? Oh, damn it, why did I say sure? Stand in front of the potion one. Yeah, blah de blah blah blah. If you want something with a bit more kick to it, you can buy one of my potions and walk a few steps down to my husband there. He'll help you out. He might not look like much, but he mixes a mean potion, and he's used to dealing with kids like you. What do you mean kids like me? I'm a good kid. Mostly. Oh, you mean like a baby? You think I'm a baby? Alright, well, I stored my fairy. Hold up. Uh, I the item check, blah blah blah. Okay, I thought her dialogue changes every time. Leave me alone if you don't want anything. Sheesh, I'm busy staring at a wall. Yeah, I can tell you look so focused on that. Wait a minute. Are you looking at that fat gypsy guy? Whatever. Whatever lights your dandelion candle. If anyone gets that reference, please tell me what the name of that movie is. It's like the girl who um she she like came from the heavens. She's a, she's actually like a star, and uh, she can't leave like this certain area, otherwise she'll turn to dust and whatnot. And um anyway. At, like at the very end of the movie, she's like asking the main character, she's like, What does a star do best? He's like, I don't know. And she's like, They shine. And she like starts glowing extremely brightly, brightly and she blinds the main evil dude. Now, of course, this is just an extremely toned down summary of what happened. It's not even a summary, I wouldn't even call it that. It's a poor excuse for a summary, but. I don't remember much from it, but I remember liking that movie. What are you? Oh yeah, you're that, you're that other dude. Oh right, before I left. Thanks for reminding me, kid. I want to find that Kukiel kid. Uh, nope. Kukiel? How the hell do I pronounce that kid's name? Kukieli? Kuke Skywalker? I mean, I don't know. I don't even know where to begin to look. Um, it's over here. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Maybe it's one of these houses over here. Ouch. I don't think I've ever stepped in here before. Ah, oh, there you are! Oh, Link! 
Hercule is safely back at home, and that's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. You could give me that. Yeah, give me the gratitude crystal. Girl, thanks. You got the five. Oh, damn, five gratitude crystals? That's awesome. Must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce these. this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. This is Nintendo hypnotizing you to be a good person. <laughs> oh, it's you, Link! Uncle Bat's still- <laughs> You know, if I had just read this, like, one line of text uh, before playing this game at all, I would have thought, Uncle Bat's is Batman in this game? Told me he wants to see all the gratitude crystals you can, but how's he going to do that? Uh, with me, of course, because I'm a good person, and I'm awesome. So before we leave here, that guy said to bring him the number of crystals that I have right now. So I'm going to go find him. Uh, and then once I give him these crystals, I'm going to go back here. Um, what the fuck? Wait a minute, you're not gay? Ooh. I heard you're the one responsible for finding cool kill. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Just look at her. She puts her parents through all that worry and heartache, and now she's out like a light. Oh, wait, so you're not her. Okay, so you are gay, alright. Just wondering. <laughs>